Welcome back to, uh, Sonic the Lost World. No, it's not the Lost World. It's just Sonic Lost World. Jeez. I beat the, the Windy Hill Stage 1 and 2, or Zone, not Stage, as Zone 1 and 2. So let's go to Zone 3, even though there's a boss in Zone 2. I don't know why there was a boss in Zone 2 when there's a Zone 3, but whatever, going to Zone 3. Oh, this looks nothing like Windy Hill. Awesome! Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that that's different. Let's see, okay. So far, I actually do like this game. A lot of people may hate it, but you need to actually think about, whoa, about where Sonic games originated in terms of their gameplay. And when you actually think about it, if you play the original Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Genesis, you'll actually see that the Sonic games did not start out fast. They started out slow, and they only got fast when they started getting to, oh crap, uh, the 3D kind of game area, so let's see. Yeah, I know how to do that. Oh, hey, look. I can do... Yeah, screw it. Let's just go straight. What the hell? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, once Sonic games started being 3D, and... like, on Sonic Adventure and stuff. Oh, okay. Those are just rings. That's when they started being fast and less about platforming and stuff. The Sonic Adventure games did have some platforming. They were mostly about running around fast and just kind of racing around. And I'm just gonna ignore all those tips, but whoa, I just died. That kind of sucked. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I'm ignoring the tips because I don't really want to figure out how to use them or deal with them because when you hit the tip, it will actually display it on the gamepad and not on the screen, which kind of sucks. And my capture device doesn't record the gamepad. It records the screen because it's it's taken from my HDMI input and then acting also as a pass-through. So it's taking the HDMI input and playing it on my computer. So it can be recorded on my computer. And let's just go... Laser! I know. Boom! Oh crap. Oh crap! What the hell? What? What? What was that? I guess that was stupid. I guess next time I shouldn't do that, huh? You know what? Let's do... A roll. Yay! <laughs> okay, that was not as fast as I was hoping it would be. Whoa. I did notice that IGN saying that you lose your momentum uh, when you turn right or left it, it is actually true because you do kind of lose a lot of your momentum. Oh, okay, that works. Okay, let's wait for this thing to turn, actually. I can do this. Laser! Bam! There we go. That time I didn't get hit by the spikes. And uh, I think you only have one continue unless you get more continue. Ouch. More continues. So after you run out of lives, you have one continue. Laser! And, okay. Let's do this. Hey, That's weird. Whoa! 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 So yeah, uh, you have... A certain amount of lives, then you only have one continue. Then you get a game over, and you go straight to the title menu. I mean, obviously, you get a game over when you have to use a continue, but... After you use that one continue, you go to the title menu. A title screen, whatever. And so far, let's see. Because I did die a bit trying to figure out how to beat that first boss, because I was like, what the hell, this doesn't make sense. I was trying to do something stupid, and I guess you gotta be real slow on them, too. Okay, let's use laser again! Laser! Oh, wait, did I just charge the laser thing? Oh, I did! That's awesome! Okay, I didn't know that. You can hold the button of the laser, and it will actually charge it. That's kind of cool! Whoa! Crap. Kind of cool. Uh, ow! I also heard that you do not get an extra life when you get 100 rings. So just make sure you have just enough rings to survive. Don't worry about trying to collect them. Unless you're going for a uh, perfect course clearing stuff. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh dang. That was close. Kind of. Okay. Do I, I guess I have to jump right down here, don't I? Because it looks like stairs. Alright. Oh, there we go. There's the thing. Let's go ahead and just run around a little bit and hop on on it. 
can see the animals in there through the little window and everything too. But now I've freed some animals. <laughs> animals are cool. And freed. I do actually like the graphics of this. It does run at 60 frames a second on the Wii U. Because that's what I'm playing it on, obviously. I don't know what consoles this game is actually on. But it's on Wii U, so... There are now more zones to select from in two-player race. Okay. And what is this thing? Oh, did I just... Oh, okay, I just found it. That's weird. They have extra lives, and... That's some tent thing. Okay. Yeah, so these tents, you have to get a certain amount of... Red rings before you can actually go to them. I am not going to be doing all the extra side stuff. So let's go Windy Hill Zone 4. What the hell is a Zone 4? I think that's the first time in a Sonic game there's been a Zone 4 of a stage. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair Man. What? Oh, uh, yep. That's what they're called. The Deadly Six. They are worst enemies, huh? Really? Show this blue pest how you do things up here. I already beat the crap out of him once. I think it was him at least. Looks like him. Um. <laughs> that's so dumb. Those faces. It seriously. They made the game for little kids. I swear they did. <laughs> I think if I ever play this game all the way through again, I'm skipping every single cutscene because this is ridiculous. <laughs> These cutscenes are just so weird. Holy crap. I also can't tell if the cutscenes are in game or not, but I think they are in game. This is the animations are kind of odd. They kind of seem. They're smooth, but sort of jittery for some of them. It's like they, they just jump right to a certain set uh, for that one guy, but I guess it's probably to. So it matches personality or something, and it's kind of weird. I should be hitting these things, huh? Let's go down this way by rolling, or and the rolling didn't. Wow, that was weird. Why did it stop? Okay, there's a sheep. What the hell? <laughs> the sheep has no fun. Wow, that was what? Check it out. You can float on top of the sheep when it has no fur or wool, not fur, whatever. Oh crap, oh crap, there we go. I guess I should stop screwing around. Oh, that's why I slowed down. That was a, a jump. Oh crap, oh crap. I don't like how they did that. It's weird. You have two jump buttons, and one of them is the homing attack, and the other does nothing except a double jump. But the homing attack button also double jumps. It's sort of odd. Whoops, that was an accident. And I just wish I didn't have to use the gamepad for this. It's all. That's really all because gamepad is not comfortable to hold. What the hell? Okay, red sheep are evil. I guess they have blood soaked into their wool or something. I guess I should kind of look out for them. Okay, roll! Apparently, okay. <laughs> Fish are not dangerous at all. Freaking red sheep are more dangerous than that. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. I was in the water. Whoa, okay. I was in the water. I thought I could go to the other side of this little this little tube thing, but I couldn't. So that was a dumb thing to try and do. Um, okay. Same thing I did last time. I don't know if you can do something different there or not. Might be able to, but I don't know. <laughs> There's the sheep. Goodbye, sheep. Okay, more sheep. Awesome, there we go. I missed the sheep that time and hit the... Okay, it's 2D this time. Or side scroll. Two, whatever, not 2D. Okay. Oh, hey, look. There's a thing here. What's this for? Is this just extra thing or what? Whoa, let go. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> okay. You can hit a sheep and it will lose its fur. If, and if it's red, it will kind of... It'll it'll ignore you. What the hell? If it loses its wool, I keep saying fur. I am going to lose this game. This is horrible. <laughs> this is messed up. I suck at this game so far. As a freaking platformer, I suck at platformers. Let's just do this. I'm ignoring that little thing up there this time. I just want to get through this level. Okay, let's let's um let's go up here. Whoa, that was dumb. 
the of me to do. Okay, let's go. There we go. Ignoring the bouncer. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> jerk. What's over here? I found a secret. Wow, and I thought I was going to die. Oh, dude, I got an extra life. I only have two lives. That sucks. Oh, dang, that was close. That was the first time I... Whoa. Oh, okay, that's not... Um, what happens if I hit this? Okay, so I have to figure out how to do this. Oh, I know what to do. You gotta hit the top one and use the momentum of it to launch up. Oh, there we go. Okay, I figured that out. And there we go. I hit a freaking checkpoint. Logs! Oh, crap! Oh, wow. That was, that was really close. And those aren't real dangerous since it's going to walk under them. Apparently, so. Okay, there's a thing there. Try and not run this time so I don't screw up. Oh, and I still almost screwed up. Okay. Now I gotta go upside down doing this. And there we go. Right? Did I? Okay, I did it. Awesome. <laughs> I see. Okay, I see what this is for now. And I think I was going to be going upside down like that. It's messed up. It's actually weird. It means the level could be really small, but normal size just by being upside down. And I hate those worm things on the original one. I... I oh, man. Really? I was trying to do the homing attack on the button for some reason. And it didn't want to work. I got to go back upside down. I guess I'll finish this. Uh, stage, zone, whatever, on the next part. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I almost died. And share. And I'll see you guys on the next part or some other video. But until then, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.